Hi, Soul Family. It's Latani with Saggy Soul. Thank you so much for tuning in to your reading. We are technically still in Aries season. Happy birthday, Aries. But I'm now I'm on to Gemini. Gemini, before I get started, let me say thank you to all of my old subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome and thank you so much for subscribing. Soul Family, thank you for the energy, the comments, the likes, the dislikes, the stories. It all helps people who are going through the same situation, similar situations, and those who will be coming up behind the energy. So, Gemini, we are in a new month, April 2022, I would like to read your horoscope. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. And it reads, uh, the testiness could amp up. This may lead to a short stint of uncharacteristic decisiveness. Since it's not your usual modus operandi, you could be misconstrued as being bossy. A Gemini? No. There's nothing wrong with assertiveness. Enjoy it while it lasts. Your rewarding days will be the 15th, 16th, 17th, and your challenging days, two have already passed, the first and the second, and the end of the month, the 28th, the 29th, and the 30th will be part of your challenging days. So Gemini, I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you are staying focused, focused on your goals, focused on uh, meditation, yoga, exercising, um, manifesting great things that are meant to be on your life path, happiness, careers, jobs, relationships, Bowing down to the Most High God, night and day, uh, being thankful that even during a pandemic, you can get up and start a new get up and release old paradigms, release old relationships, karmic people and places, and start a new, a new job, a new career, new relationships. Things are fulfilling, things that uplift you, things that are equally yoked, things that are equal transparency, things that give you equal love, equal reciprocity, things that um, just give you goosebumps, right? Things that just make you smile, things that make you happy during this lifetime, whether it's a job, whether it's a career, all those things, right? Um, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Gemini, check your moon sign, rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, everything in your natal birth chart that make up who you are. I'm going to bring you on down. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. All right, Gemini, I hope that you are hiking, walking, biking, doing all those good things that keep you excited and being connected to people, places, and things that are positive. So Gemini, I have the three of wands on the bottom of the deck waiting. This could also be opportunities, right? Death and retransformation when I see butterflies. Death and birth, retransformation, right? Transforming out of old things. This is like sprouting from old into something new. Right. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into a free shuffle. Gemini. Gemini, I hope you're having a great weekend. Gemini, let's see what we come up with. Gemini. One more. Oh, Gemini, one more. That one was missing. Let's cut the deck. Gemini, your focus. Ooh, the Hierophant, Major Con in the reverse. You also have the Fool, Major Con in the upright. You also have the Prince of Swords, which is just like the Nine of Swords in the upright. You also have the Four of Wands, Major Con in the upright. You also have ooh, the King of Pentacles in the upright. You also have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. And you also have Justice, Major Con in the reverse. Hmm. All right. Let's say what's on the board here. So Gemini, on the board, we have wands, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have swords, air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Uh, we also have pentacles, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We also have the food, major arcana in the upright, Aries. We also have justice in the reverse, major arcana, Libra. We also have the higher font, major arcana in the reverse, Taurus.
So Gemini, I have a King of Pentacles here, but this sword, this knight represents your suit, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords goes rushing in, rushing in to say things, rushing in for opportunities, rushing in for fights, rushing in to gather information. The crows are here, or the ravens, right? This is almost like a warning of being careful what you rush into. The crows are messengers, right? Paying attention to how you react. For every reaction, there's a, or for every reaction, there's a reaction, right? We do have the Hierophant here in the reverse. Now, in the upright, the Hierophant, this is the card of almost the divine, right? God himself. Higher learning, as above, so below. Corporations, religions, tradition, marriages, things that are divinely guided, divinely right, divinely rooted. But being in the reverse, this is not being connected with the divine, not doing things traditionally, not answering the call. Hmm. Even blocking the divine or God out. But we do have the fool here, Major Arcana, next to the Knight of Swords. Now the fool is things or a person that wants to take a new beginning. As you can see, there's like alligators or crocodiles in this in front of this fool, though. So almost like the warning here: be careful of the actions that you take. Right? For every action, there's a reaction. Someone is almost wanting to take an action towards their divine counterpart, or should I say their twin flame? This is the Four of Wands. To have a happy wife, happy life, happy spouse, happy life. Which way, right? Someone is wanting to take charge and do something new, start something new, go after something new, try something new. But the thing is, Gemini, this horror font being in the reverse, this is someone who is stuck in their own paradigm, stuck in their own ways, stuck in their own beliefs, stuck in their own, this is how it's always been, this is how it should be. Understanding that maybe I'm talking to a Gemini who've never been loved, never had love, always been stolen from, cheated on, abused, neglected, be rated as a male or a female in their relationship. So I'm talking to a Gemini who maybe doesn't even know what true love is. But who wants to take an opportunity? Who wants to take a chance? Who wants to go after it and maybe find out what it is? Hmm. We also have a king of pentacles on the board. Now, this could also be a queen of pentacles. Um... But there's the Ten of Wands next to this. So this is almost like a burden. This could be Gemini relationships that are you are in with a king or queen of pentacles. Someone who is very masculine, whether even if it's a female, someone who is very masculine in their energy. Uh, for some of you with the Ten of Wands being the reverse, I'm talking to Geminis who are on the verge of releasing this or who perhaps have released this. Maybe this is someone who kept a tight eye on you, told you when to come when to sit, when to eat, when to sleep, to call them every minute at work. They called you every minute at work because we do have the justice card here in the reverse. For some of you, this person may be going through some karma here. We have the Ten of Wands reverse, the justice card in the reverse next to this King or Queen of Pentacles. This person may be facing some type of karma, maybe from the divine. In the upright, this is being divinely guided, divinely rooted, approved by the Most High God, approved by the order of the celestial realm. But in the reverse, with the Ten of Wands in the reverse, the Justice in the reverse, this King or Queen of Pentacles may be coming into some karma. Gemini, you may be witnessing this or you will witness this because they're, very, they're next to the Ten of Wands in reverse and they're next to the Justice 
in reverse, which means there's going to be some karma that's going to be dealt out. It could be in their health. It could be in their mental stability. It could be in their finances, especially being a king or queen of pentacles. They're all concerned about the look, keeping up with the Joneses, the money, not necessarily about just love, but finances. When I'm focused on a Gemini here, I'm focused on a Gemini who wants to take a new start. Doesn't know how, but they see this plentiful horizon before them. It's like the night is looking over the clouds at these two bears, all the flowers abundance and the sun around them and the greenery and the butterflies here are almost like transformation wanting to do a death and rebirth of something new, a death and rebirth of a new job, a death and rebirth of a new relationship, a death and rebirth of a new career, a death and rebirth of love. Finding true love, having true love, experiencing true love. And that's the only thing that you can receive from a divine counterpart is true love. It can't be faked. There's no facades. You know or you don't know if you're equally yoked with people. You know or you know if don't know. You know or you know if you're equally yoked in a, in, a, in a partnership. You know or you know, don't know if you're equally yoked in a marriage, equally yoked in a relationship. The fire is there. The passion is there always. That person is your best friend. That person you can do anything with, travel with, laugh with, share jokes with. You get the joke, Right. You're on the same wavelength. You're on the same maturity length. We're talking about a divine connection that makes you happy. The thing is, the horror font is here in the reverse. For some of you, I, I mean, I don't know what has happened. I don't know if the divine is going to block this because there was a previous relationship and maybe something came up against this divine relationship. It could be words, it could be manipulation, it could be black magic, and maybe the divine has blocked this true counterpart. It's going to be different for everyone. But it's almost like, um, Gemini, you know this is your divine counterpart, but you want... I don't know, maybe you want to put this person in a third party with the higher font being the reverse. You don't want anything traditional. You want to play games and act like you don't know who this person is. You probably don't want to do that. Yeah. So if you're going to transform, transform, right? If you're going to go after something new, make sure you want what you receive, what you ask for. It doesn't come in the same package we think it's going to come in. It doesn't come in the same box we, doesn't, we think it comes in. It doesn't come with the bow and the color that we ordered it in. It comes as a divine sea. will educate your soul, your spirit this lifetime. It's not always about the money, keeping up with the Joneses, what look good on the outside. It's about happiness, fulfillment, love, respect, equal reciprocity, being equally yoked. Being able to create legacies out of nothing. Million and billion dollar industries out of nothing. This is for someone. Gemini, this is your reading. This is for someone. Someone who doesn't believe in tradition. Someone who doesn't believe in marriages. But this is for someone who wants an opportunity of real love, divine love. Equal reciprocity, being equally yoked. Equal give and take, equal passion, equal love, whatever, right? A divine connection. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course, comment. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to Saggy Soul. And from one soul to another soul, I love you, soul family. Have a good week.